we kind of got hit in the mouth. They were the aggressive. Um, I thought the last three minutes, 30 seconds of the second quarter, we finally woke up and started to play. So got a little deficit, worked our way back into it. You know, a six-point lead at half, six-point deficit at halftime. But um, feels like uh, been a little inconsistent so far. Played a good half, first half against Charlotte, fourth segment. And tonight, for the most part, was the poor first half until we woke up then and then had that carry over into the second half. But you were asking about the second quarter specifically. Well, first half, but yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they were really aggressive. They upped their pressure, got into the ball, um, back cut us, and got some open looks, but we fought our way, and I felt, you know, good about where we were at, being down six at halftime with how poorly we played for the majority of the first half. What did you think of Jakari's effort tonight? It was great. His energy was great. Um, a lot of guys obviously woke up in the second half and played up to our standard capability, but Jamari was there all night. And, uh, He's been a beast on the boards, you know, six offensive rebounds tonight, 16, and just the activity was great there. So, need that from him. I think, um, you know, we did some good things with the glass, and he's been kind of ahead of the snake as far as that. I mean, said, uh, oh, oh, go ahead, John. You can okay. uh, I mean, said earlier today, uh, the, uh, I should run that one of the things that you all want to focus on more was the rebounding. I think that you all uh, rebounded them by uh, over 20 rebounds. What was that, uh, like the focus after the last game? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we get out rebound at 36 to 12 or 33 to 12 in the second half. That's really why we lost the game. So, you know, all those offensive rebounds we gave up. 19 to 2 second chance points. So, obviously, we talked about that and, you know, looked at some things. You know, and that's an effort thing. Charlotte Allen played us in the second half with those things. And tonight we wanted to flip that and get back to what we were doing. And so, uh, 11 offensive rebounds for 10 points in the first half. We more so doubled that in the second half with 12 offensive rebounds for 17 points. So, to finish with, 23 and 27 second chance points obviously shows our focus on that end and the effort that we played with. And so, like I said, it was good to see us wake up in the, at the end of the second quarter and have to carry over into the second half. And this goes from, I think it's like 56% shooting in the first half to 20 in the third quarter. How much of that is that second unit just being disruptive and creating some havoc out there? Yeah, they're great at that, uh, you know, just personnel based. It's my man, Atari, and some guys that really get after it. Um, but I think the first group to end the first half and start the second half kind of brought that and set the tone with that as well. So, um, you know, 39 to 18 in that quarter, regardless of us scoring, we had, we had scored enough in the first half, 59. It felt like we weren't carding up to our standard and got after them in the second half and the whole 18 that to, in that quarter really kind of broke it open. But, Good to have some carryover in the fourth as well, holding the lead at 25, so happy with the second half. Ever. I know that Tari might not be ready for as many minutes as our men gets, but do you like the two of them on the floor together? I do, for a lot of reasons. Obviously, the versatility defensively and cover up for a lot of mistakes. And then, you know, as Tari gets his legs and timing back, you, know, you see him getting better and better on offensive end. We know what the rim's going to do, usually. And they turn over some kind of fall all over himself, but um, still did other things, started and rebound and scored a little bit. But um, those two wreak havoc, havoc on that end, um, cover up a lot of things. And uh, no matter who you put them out there with, it, it's going to obviously bring good things on the defensive side of the ball. The things that you did well in the second half tonight, how much of that was just like what you did in the first half on Wednesday, and how did you just like put that together for a few minutes? Yeah, I mean, it was really challenging them to play with the proper effort. You know, Memphis was playing harder. That was a simple message at halftime. We looked at some things, um, but you know, we were taking gambles in the backcourt and allowing them to get out transition, but really it was, they were playing harder than us, a bit more physical than us. And so, like I said, we finished the half well, and um, for us, that's what we have to be all the time. Felt like I hit on, hit, got hit, knocked back a little bit and started fighting our way back. But um, yeah, that's who we have to be as a team in general and kind of pride ourselves on that last year. So. Got to put full games together now. This young group has shown that last year they built in the final house. It's pushing them. Let's talk a little bit as well as the same quarter. How much did you enjoy the fight that kind of third quarter kind of absolutely? Yeah, it was great. And, and obviously that third quarter stands out. But um, the fact that we got back into it in the second quarter was really good. A good sign going into the half. Um, I told them we're not playing that great. They're being a more physical team than us. And, we're only down six right now. It's putting a second half together. And so, um, like I said, the carryover is there, but it's good to see us fight our way back in. And we had, a, I think, 13-point uh, point deficit in the second quarter.
Jalen didn't, Jalen didn't have a really good first quarter, but in that second quarter, he started to heat up. Was well, after the first quarter, was your message to him to just stay aggressive? Yeah, at all times. Uh, you know, he's making the right lead. I think at times he may predetermine what he's going to do out of that pick and roll, whether shoot it or hit out in the pocket. <clears throat> just want him to read and react, and I think he, for the most part, does that. Um, you know, whether he scores or not, it's it's not always dictated on that. Um, you know, based on that, I think he does other things well. He's been much better in a lot of areas. And so, um, him to continue to be aggressive, but it's always a direct correlation with us getting stops and getting out and running, and that's what we did in that second quarter and the second half, obviously. Can you talk a little bit about Cavs? Uh, can you talk a little bit about Cam's um, instant offense off the bench? It seems like he's able to do a lot, especially on offensive end, in like a short amount of time. Yeah, I mean, that's, he's, a, he's a natural bucket when he comes in. He looks to score and, and can do it in a lot of different ways. He's free yard, getting stops and getting out and running. He's obviously great in the open court, but the shooting ability, he's our best catch and shoot player last year, and so we want him to take make quick decisions, you know, catch and shoot, catch and drive, and catch and pass it not hold it as much and I think he's understanding that and learning that and then when he does drive it he's so strong and physical in his drives um what is it half for the transition he's gonna finish most of the time with the basket but you know continue to do that he was the offense and then continue to grow defensively and all around and uh, been the complete player that we know he can be. Thank you.